This is how hell of a price was made. Okay, so this is how top off was made. So this is how outstanding was made. And this is probably like the most used like effect preset when it comes to these types of beats. All right, what's good YouTube? So in this video, I'm gonna be covering how to make beats in like the signature style of Gunna. And basically what I'm gonna be doing in this video is breaking down a few hit songs in FL Studio, breaking down all the traits you need to know to make a signature Gunna type beat, as well as actually making a beat with all these things I'm gonna talk about in mind. Also, before this video starts, make sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter at Finn of the God, as well as my second channel, along with my sound kits with the link in the description. And if you wanna download any of the sounds or samples that I use in this tutorial, there's a link in the description where you can download them completely free. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, starting with Remix. So this is how Hell of a Price was made. So this beat was made by Metro, and if you've seen the Metro tutorial, you know that one thing I talked about is that Metro tends to use a lot of Omnisphere synth default presets by going into the actual sound set itself like this. Layers, click here, and you go into Synthesizers, and the preset that was used, which is in here, is called Juno 60 Dark Organ, and it sounds like this. The next sound is this Purity preset that comes in later with this melody. It's called Celesta. It's one of the most used presets in Purity. And the melody itself looks and sounds like this. As for the drums, they're super simple. Uh, all the drum sounds here you can get in my drum kits, by the way. But yeah, it's super repetitive. As you can see with the hi-hats up here, this is literally all that plays and just keeps repeating. But yeah, it's just made up of the spins 808, which I modified a little just to be more aligned with the song. And apart from that, everything else is just generic drum sounds. And you know, with the drums and everything now together, the beat fully sounds like this. Okay, so this is how top off was made. So just kind of like the last beat, and you'll see as a repeating factor as I go through all these remakes, is that like chord progressions like this, which are like super simple and don't have much variation between each other is like a big takeaway from these types of beats. For this track specifically, the preset that's used is called Genuine Roads, and that sounds like this. And then the next preset is this one called Ocean Keys, which kind of just comes in and out of the beat. It's kind of like a top line melody that plays in and out, similar to the last beat. And that sounds like this. As for the drums, they're very similar like the last beat in terms of the actual sounds being used, and as well as the general things I was talking about before. Like as you can see here, hi-hats are super repetitive and there's nothing too crazy going on with them. You know, as for sounds like 808, spins, super generic, super common. Only like one perk sound really coming in and then just like a simple two-step snare pattern like this. And now everything together sounds like this. So this is how Outstanding was made. Again, like I was saying with Rhodes, super common. And this beat as well, it's also just a Rhodes. With the chord progression itself, there's a gross beat automation preset called Slow Triplet. And this is probably like the most used like effect preset when it comes to these types of beats. It really just like slows it down and almost gives it like this clicking sound that makes it rhythmic. So, so when you do that, you're kind of like allowing yourself to use very simple melodies like we are with these beats, but still like have some sort of rhythm into them that kind of just like sits in the background and just adds to the beat. So yeah, I'm not to put emphasis on the points i've been making but like as you can see here the hi-hat pattern is super repetitive same types of hi-hat rolls like just being dragged here and here and then just repeating every every bar or beat or whatever that is but yeah again spins 808 you know basic hi-hat clap all those things together sounds like this You may have noticed also with these beats, a big takeaway is that like these four note as well as three note chord progressions and variations between them is very common with these types of beats. You know, it's usually like one of those. So yeah, just experiment with that because you know, you don't want it to always be like super boring and just always have it be three note chords throughout the whole thing. But yeah, that's basically it for the remix. So with all these things in mind, the key things to take away from this is that you want to use simple chord progressions with not a lot of spacings between them, usually like two to three chords at max and usually only like two to three presets on each beat. Common sounds that get used are like soft leads, roads, dry and ambient synth sounds. 
bells as well as bells. A lot of the times gross beat presets are put into the melodic sounds to give them a lot more rhythm. The drums are very generic, meaning usually like common sounds like spins and Zay 808, as well as really repetitive hi-hat patterns with specifically repetitive hi-hat rolls. Uh, a lot of spacings between the 808s because that tends to make them hit harder and you know because you don't want them like hitting all the time like also there's usually not a lot of perks or like open hats or snares or kicks that are going on too much like there's usually only like one or two of those at best and the common scales for these types of beats are usually like a sharp to e minor with c sharp major specifically being the most common one for his beats and finally the tempos tend to sit between like 115 to 150 but most of the times they usually want to go like around 120 to 140 and yeah that's everything you need to know okay so with this in mind let's make an actual beat so starting from scratch i'm just gonna go into omnisphere real quick just get some like road keyscape creative type of sound that is if Omnisphere wants to open, okay. Keyboards, Keyscape Creative, probably can't see that, but electric pianos. I'm just gonna take a sound out of here, I guess. Bang. And yeah, I'm just gonna take this template that I always have like preloaded up every time I open FL. And basically it's just a bunch of chords in a MIDI, but I'm gonna move it up to C sharp major. And yeah, I'm just gonna copy and paste that in here. I'm just gonna basically just play around chords until I like what I find. All right, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna use these chords and move this down. Extendo. Like, you know, like if you gotta like always be thinking what the artist is like, what are they looking for in their beat? break that rule real quick. I'm probably gonna use those notes as like a lead melody of some sort. Yeah, it's gonna work way better. And then I can go back and use these original notes and probably get rid of these. Increase the tempo. Bang, this will be fire. I'm gonna make this melody with that gross beat preset actually on it because I find that's way easier to do than actually just make a melody and just kind of hope it works when you actually make the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do spins with it. Bang, beat done. Just like that, it's so goddamn easy. Super repetitive, bouncy, you know, generic stuff. Some of you are gonna be saying like, oh, that sounds exactly like uh, the 
top off for example like that lead specifically and like honestly that's why i always tell people to remake things because it's like i like indirectly do that like i was reading someone's comment like on the last video and they're like yeah the beat kind of sounds like you it's back at it again if you know that song by yellow breezy and like at the time when i'm making it i'm not thinking of that but because i've like remade that beat and like i kind of like know how that beat was made i like indirectly apply those things and the things that work that make it such a good beat into my own and i make it my own you know it's really nothing wrong with like taking something from another song that you like and making it your own you shouldn't be afraid to do that but yeah i'm just gonna arrange this real quick give me a sec And if this sound was to get used, it'd be brought in here because it would be a chorus sound that just kind of sits in the background and adds rhythm. But like, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I might fix it up like later, but you get the gist of the idea. I'm kind of forcing it because I wanted to put emphasis on that gross beat preset, but like, you know, it didn't fit in this beat, so probably shouldn't use it, but. I want to throw something in there, just like make it unique. All right, screw it. I'm putting the goddamn crow in there. Realistically, this would get taken out of the beat, but I'm trying to make this a little bit special. Why not? Kill Bell preset, bang, reverb. I already know this is going to work. Slow double, slow double. I invented this preset. One, two, three, four, five. That's crazy. Actually, you know, I'll probably just change the sound. Creative category, I'm guessing it's a key. Yeah. What am I saying? I'm guessing. I know exactly where it's from. That's crazy. I kind of stalled a little bit with too many things. So I was talking most of the time, but still, that's like 16 minutes right there. And I made a gun of beat, you know, and like I make 10 of those in one day and you're bound to get one that like he would for sure rap on. So like moral of that story, stick to structure, stick to things that work, do remakes, you know, if you want to make a gun of beat specifically for this style, as I showed you, stick to all the things that I talked about earlier in this video. And yeah, you'll be successful if you just keep practicing that. And yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter at Fin of the God, as well as check out my other beat channel with the link in the description. Go check out my new drum kits, as well as if you want to download any of the drum sounds I use in this video, just go to the link in the description once again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. What's up? Pretty good. I'm just recording myself right now. It's all good. I got this all figured out. What figured out? All of this like whole shebang. Telling you to have your own room. Like that room in the corner of the US tape, you know? Yeah, I told him if I said that I'd get my ass beat. <laughs> Damn right. Alright, take care.